Hey, uh, it's Mark again from Mobile Diesel. I told you I would come back to this photo. This is for a rebuild of a Detroit Series 6V92. And I was saying in the book, it's saying to do it this way. Uh, and with most piston jobs, I would definitely agree. But for this guy, I, as I mentioned earlier, the springs behind these oil rings are popping off <coughs> so easily and they're overlapping. I'm finding them. So I've made marks where the oil rings are. I first put this one in. I pushed the piston, the oil rings, all the way in. So there's no chance of an overlap. And then I went and put the second one on. Now you notice it's bulging out more. And the reason is because that oil ring is on this side. And this side is pushed in all the way. And while I was wrestling this one in, this ring moved, the overlap. So I know where they're not supposed to be overlapping. I know where they're supposed to meet by these marks. So I quickly went and checked this one again, real quick, off camera, just to make sure it wasn't overlapping. So now I know this is pushed in. The, it's not overlapping on this side, not overlapping on this side, but if I were to install this guy like this with all that pounding, there's your oil ring, and you gotta get those fire rings and compression rings in, and if I were to do it this way, by the time I was done with the oil ring section, I guarantee you it would pop out and it would overlap and they wouldn't stay side by side so unfortunately this isn't going to work with these hokey springs that go behind these oil rings so instead this is a tapered ring compressor and it looks familiar to the photo and what i do is i try to do this on the camera start it on my bench and the idea is, it compresses down on those oil rings, and it doesn't give them a chance to overlap. And I'll just tap it in lightly, and if there's any problem, now of course I'm not going to tap it like this for the final application, but. Um, in the beginning I can do it this way but for the final one it's going to be in that motor and I'll show you that one too but essentially this piston's got to just overlap this guy here just by a millimeter not too much so it'll stay locked into the block while I put it in the rest of the way and once again if it gets jammed up here that means I screwed up and the overlap is not uh, is occurring the undesired overlap which we don't want but it seems to be going in quite easily not hitting it too hard just a light tap okay and then I gotta stagger these pistons down here these rings down here so I have to stop now but eventually this guy is going to be just a smidge over this rim here and then when we turn her around and drop her into the block it'll hold in place all right thank you